Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Anmant Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a C program to print table of a given number. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular base we will write standard input output dot h header file. The next preprocessor directive is hash include in angular base we will write console input output dot h header file. Now I am going to write void main function curly open brace and here I am going to declare two variables of type integer. I will take one variable i for looping structure and n is for uh, the number entered by the uh, user. Next I am going to write clr scr function which is used to clear the screen. Now I am going to ask the user to enter the number using printf function. So here I am going to write enter the number and the double quotation mark and put semicolon. Now I am going to receive value for the variable n using scanf statement. So in a double quotation mark I am going to write percentage %d format specifier and the double quotation mark put comma and ampersand of this variable n we will take and put semicolon. Now we are going to take for loop to iterate through the steps. Here for i is equal to 1 I will take because I want to start from 1. So that's the reason I am going to take 1. If I enter number 5 for value n then 5 into 1. So that's the reason I have taken here 1. So 5 into 1 is 5. So that's the reason I have to take here i is equal to 1. Now I am going to write i is less than or equal to 10. So I want to print up to 5 into 10 is equal to 50. So that's the reason I have taken i is less than or equal to 10 and then put semicolon i plus plus. Now we will write printf statement and in printf statement I am going to write in a double quotation mark percentage d format specifier multiplication symbol that is asterisk symbol and percentage d is equal to percentage d and then backward slash n end the double quotation mark put comma here this percentage d is associated with the value entered by the user that is n then comma into will be printed as it is and this percentage d is associated with the next index number that is for the first time i is equal to 1 2 3 up to 10 so here i have written i next I'll put comma and this equal to will be printed as it is and percentage d format specifier is used for the product that is n into i and then I'll put semicolon and here I'm going to write get ch function and then I'm going to put curly closing brace. Now let us uh, take an example and we'll see how exactly the output looks. So we'll write here output so when we compile and run this program, it will ask the user to enter the number. Now I am going to enter for example 5. You can enter any other number. Here n is receiving value 5. So i is equal to 1, i is less than or equal to 10. So 1 is less than or equal to 10, yes condition is true. Once the condition is true, then this printf statement percentage d associated with n. What is n? n is 5. So 5 will be printed and this asterisk symbol will be printed as it is and this percentage d i value. i value for the first time it is 1 and equal to will be printed as it is and then percentage d format specifier is associated with n into i. n into i means what? 5 into 1. So that gives me 5. And here backward slash n just because of this the cursor come down to the next line. Now again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1. Now i value is 2. Again this particular statement will get executed because this is true. 2 is less than or equal to 10. Condition is true. Hence this particular statement once again it is going to execute. So percentage d that specifies or associated with value n. So n is fixed 5 and this time value of i is incremented by 1. Now it is 2. So it is 5 into 2 is equal to n into i means what? 5 into i value is 2. So that is 10 will be printed. Just because of this backward slash n again cursor come 
comes down to the next line and it prints the next statement again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 3 so here again 3 is less than or equal to 10 condition is true this statement will get executed percentage d n value is what 5 into i value is 3 n into i is 5 into 3 so that is 15 will be printed just because of this backward slash n cursor comes down to the next line again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 4 so it is going to print 5 into asterisk symbol will be printed as it is and percentage d is associated with i so that is i value is 4 e is equal to n into i e is what n into i is 5 into 4 so that is 20 again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now five, i value is 5 so here 5 is less than or equal to 10 yes condition is true once again this particular statement will get executed so n value is 5 i value is 5 5 5 is a 25 because of this n into i again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 6 so here n value is fixed 5 and i value is incremented by 1 now it is 6 so next n into i is what 5 into 6 that is 30 will be printed again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is what 7 7 is less than or equal to 10 condition is true once again all these uh, statement will get executed here 5 is stored in value n next next into as it is it will be printed and value of i is what 7 so next 5 7s are 35 so that is n into i will be printed so again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now it is 8 so 5 is the value stored in n asterisk symbol as it is percentage d is associated with i i value is 8 so 5 8s are 40 so that is n into i will be printed over here again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 9 9 is less than or equal to 10 yes condition is true once again this particular statement will get executed the value of n is 5 and then value of i is now it is 9 so n into i is 5 into 9 that is 45 will be printed again just because of this backward slash n cursor come down to the next line and control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 10 10 is less than or equal to 10 yes condition is true once again this particular statement will get executed percentage d n n is 5 and into percentage d i is associated with value of i now it is 10 is equal to n into i after printing this equal to percentage d is associated with n into i that is 5 tens are 50 will be printed again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 11 11 is less than or equal to 10 no condition fails once the condition fails the control comes out of this looping structure and it executes get ch and then terminates the program now let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here i have already written this uh, program in a turbo c++ integrated development environment now we are going to compile this program for that i'm going to press alt f9 here it is showing success means there is no syntax error now i'm going to press enter and let us execute this program by pressing control f9 here it is asking the user to enter the number for example i'm going to enter 5 and if you want to write any other number you can try it out now I'm going to press enter. Here you can see it is showing a table of five. I hope you understood this program. If so, please write me down in the comment box as understood. Thank you.